Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is, of course, another episode of Achievement College, my step by step guide to getting you that gamer score. Today, we are going to cover Metro Exodus DLC, the two kernels. We're going to cover all of the achievements available in that DLC. Let's go for it. Okay, guys, starting at the very start of the game, the first thing you want to do before you go anywhere is you want to pause the game and you want to go down to options and you want to make sure that you go into game options and you want to make sure that your difficulty is on normal or harder. Now, I do recommend doing this on normal. The reason you need to be on normal or harder, there is an achievement for completing the game without using any med kits on normal or higher difficulty. So just make sure you remember that as we go through the game. Okay, guys, and from the very start, the first time you, you get control of your character, now, just a reminder, this is just going to cover uh, the achievements. I'm not doing a complete walkthrough of this DLC. Uh, if you've seen all my other walkthroughs, you should know very much how to pass the game. Now, head down the stairs and take care of all of this. I think they call it uh, slime or something in the game. I can't remember all of a sudden. I've got a mind blank. But it's not important. Take care of this first section. And as you head down this hall, don't worry about the giant worm. Turn right at the end and head straight to the first collectible here on this desk. There are nine diary collectibles in this DLC, and here is number one. The Foreman's Diary. Okay guys, a little bit further into the first level, you're gonna come across this uh, red wheel that you need to turn in order to turn off the water here. And we need to turn the water off so that we can use our flamethrower on this, uh, whatchamacallit stuff here to clear the ladder for us. All right, now I'll just show this whole little section. Make sure you wait for the uh, flames to clear a bit before you go up the ladder. And we always wanna be on the lookout for loot. If you guys have been watching my channel at all, you know I love loot. Oop, did not mean to reload. And we need to be ready to fire once we go through this door so that you can avoid damage from all these guys. Come on, flamethrower. All right, so clear up all of that. And while that's all taking care of itself, don't forget the parts and make sure you keep an eye out for different parts for the flamethrower, like those ones there. Head through this door and make your way, we'll grab the loot on the way back, but make your way all the way to the end for diary number two. Okay guys, a short time later you're going to come across your second workbench after squeezing through this gap in the wall. At least it was the second workbench for me. Uh, from that workbench, turn around directly behind you and kick it through this door. Use your flamethrower to take care of some enemies here, including a big worm that shows up there. There he is. Make sure you grab this fuel. Might just reload. And when the coast is clear, head down the end here and kick in another door on our right hand side. And once again, we are going to take care of some enemies, including that big worm guy. He sometimes pops up again right there somewhere. Anyway, once you've sorted that out, what you wanna do is do a bit of a 180 and diary number three should be on this bench here. This one is actually called Worker's Note. Okay guys, moving on to the next chapter of the game, you will meet with the uh, general, and after that cutscene, head up these stairs here. First time, this will be the first time you'll be in this area. Take a left and head up these stairs and into this uh, train carriage here. Head inside and head to the bar here, and behind the bar is diary number four. Trader's note this time. And a little bit further into that same chapter, after a few cutscenes um, that are story. Uh, three, two, one. Okay, guys, a little bit further into that level, after a few cutscenes, and you're going to grab two story related achievements that I didn't want to show because I don't want to give away any spoilers, but after leaving. Uh, this blue train carriage where you have to make a moral choice and get an achievement. Head forward to this table here and pick up diary number five. 
letter. Okay guys, a short distance uh, through the game once again. You're gonna come to this part of the game. The biggest difference here without spoiling anything is that you'll have a gun. It'll be the first time you will have a gun during this DLC. And you're gonna get to this part where this fella opens the door for you. But before you go through the door, grab diary number six off the table here. Investigation report. All right guys, play through the game until you find yourself, you'll come through a door uh, at the top of this staircase, head down the bottom of the stairs, and straight ahead, a bit to the right, on the floor, is diary number seven. Stalker's diary one. And now we just have two of these to go. Okay guys, not too far into the level after that previous collectible, you're gonna come to this door, and you need to power it up using this switch over here. Once you hit this switch, you're actually going to have to wait around for it to open, and while we do that, we are going to be attacked by those mutant things. I believe the game calls them Nosalises or something. And there's an achievement for killing three of them with the flamethrower's melee attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and survive this fight, taking out as many as we can with the melee attack until we get the achievement for killing three of them that way. If you happen to die, don't worry if you've only killed one or two. Just reload the save and keep going until you get the three melee kills. And then what we're going to do after we've got the three melee kills is reload the save and then just kill them with the flamethrower. You'll find that to be a lot easier. All right, let's have a go at it. Okay, here they come. All right, you. And you. This is not easy. Stop backing away from me, you. There we go, we got two. All right, come on. There should be number three here. Hey, die. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, where's my achievement? There we go. Killed three of them. And like I said, guys, just reload the save and I'll see you guys at the next part of the video. Okay, guys, a short time later, once again, you're gonna find yourself coming down these stairs into this slightly flooded area. And then following the arrows, we go back up another set of stairs. And as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, turn to your right, and find diary number eight. It's meant to be this here on the table here. I'm trying to get it, there we are. Stalker's diary number two. Okay guys, from that collectible, the next achievement is actually the Dodge Master achievement, and that's the only secret achievement in the DLC, and it is for dodging all of the blind ones throwing attacks during this chapter. Now it's not immediately after this collectible, but from that collectible, what you wanna do, uh, and this is gonna make that fight a hell of a lot easier, is you wanna head that way down there is where you would go to continue on with the story, but head inside here. Now I've taken care of the enemies already. You will have to um, fight off some mutants or whatever, but what you wanna grab, and I've already grabbed it, but what you wanna grab is the large uh, gas tank for the flamethrower that is available on this weapon here. So make sure you pick that up. And once again, like I said, I've taken care of the enemies um, all the way through to the blind one, actually. Now we're gonna go the way that you would normally go uh, to get up to the blind one. And if you're not careful, you can actually miss a workbench that is up here. So head through this room and up these stairs. And if we continue straight from here, we're gonna end up fighting the blind one. Before you do that though, make sure you head in here, use the workbench. What you wanna do is attach that, uh, what do you wanna call it? Extended tank, that's what we want. And once you've attached that, also make sure you clean your flamethrower. It's gonna work a lot better for you then. 
All right, now there's gonna be a few waves or uh, phases to this fight. Whenever he picks up one of the mutants, or uh, he may even pick up debris at some stage, I'm not 100% sure. But whenever he does pick something up, we need to make sure we're not hit by it when he throws it at us. If you do get hit, reload the save. I'm gonna make a save right here, and then we're gonna do the fight. Let's go. All right, and once you've saved it, make sure you, uh, all you wanna do is move forward, drop down here. I like to hide in this corner. Make sure you're uh, all loaded up. Push left trigger to get the flame or the flamethrower ready to go. I'm going to fight a wave of these mutant things, and at a certain point during the fight, you're uh, going to get a cutscene where the blind one shows up. All right, here we go. Conserve ammo as much as you can, so don't just spray aimlessly. Jeez, I got hit already, so that's not good. If you find that you've lost health, you might want to reload the save and try again. Alright. Alright, with the cutscene here, as soon as you've got control, you're going to want to move to your left as quickly as you can. He's going to throw that mutant at us. There we go. Now shoot at him. Or flame on as much as you can. He'll give up pretty quick here once this uh once you see that smoke coming down. He has given up. Head back to the corner that we started in, reload, and get ready for another wave of the mutants, the little ones. I'm just gonna lay out some covering fire, because I think they're already here, I can hear them. Wait for that fog to clear, hopefully. There we go. There's one over here. Hopefully we're not going to take too many hits here. Oh, get this guy. Alright. Oh, shit. I reloaded at the wrong time. But they're going to give up eventually. Here they go. And the big guy is going to drop down. And all you want to do is lay into him with the flames as much as you can. As soon as you see him, move side to side though. And if he comes this way, we're going to want to run down the other end and avoid him hitting us like that. Let's do that now. Run down this end. Do it again, do it again. Move side to side. Oh, see, that missed us. Reloading, run down the other side. Oop, run again. Oh, he got me a bit. I think that he hit me though, he didn't throw something at me. There we go, and then you get this cutscene. And I'm pretty sure we didn't get it, so we should get the uh, achievement. Just let this play out. Here's the plan. Boom! Okay guys, and you won't see the achievement pop for me on screen there. Now, sometimes the achievement um, will pop as you walk up this ramp or when you get up here. Um, you won't see it pop on screen for me. For some reason, I was having problems with it not popping until later in the game. Um, so if that happens to you, you might want to keep a save um, back before that fight and then continue on with the game as I'm about to. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the final collectible and the achievement for that. So we've just fallen down the elevator um, after the fight with the blind one. Head up this little makeshift ramp and the final collectible on the ledge right here. Stalker's Diary number three. There we go. There's the achievement. Love this sound. Such a good ending and a good addition to the overall story of the game, guys. Definitely worth playing. And there we are. Completed the Two Colonels chapter. And we should see another one pop. Here we go. Just a scratch. No health or no med kits used. And there we are guys, that is it. I don't know if there's any more DLC planned. 
It's been an amazing game. We've got all the achievements. Uh, I hope you do too. Um, obviously, the one that is the biggest trouble, probably in the entire game, is Dodge Master uh, for dodging all the throwing attacks by the blind one at the end there. Um, let me know in the comments below how you went with that one. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you found this helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I said, post a comment. I love to hear from you guys. It means a lot to me. And there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. Class dismissed.